the Mandelstam Institute for Theoretical Physics, part of the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, South Africa, leads the way in cutting-edge research in theoretical physics in Africa. Our main areas of research are in uh, theoretical high-energy physics as well as theoretical condensed matter physics. In theoretical high-energy physics, uh, we carry out research in string theory, in quantum field theory, in gravity, and to a less extent, uh, cosmology. Uh, we have then condensed matter physics. In general, we try to answer fundamental questions but there are some aspects that are a little bit more applied. What we try to achieve is to carry out quality research that is recognized internationally. The institute is named after the physicist Stanley Mandelstam, who introduced the Mandelstam variables in particle physics. A former graduate of Witwatersrand, or WITS, he gave permission for his name to be used when the institute was established in 2015. My research is making use of a unified and non-perturbative description of quantum gravity that is provided by string theory and holography. The big idea here, something that was discovered in the last 20 years, is that quantum gravity is holographic. What that means is we can actually give quantum gravity a description in terms of a non-gravitational quantum field theory that lives in one less dimension. I'm interested in one of the main candidates for a theory of quantum gravity, which is string theory. And I study black holes in the context of string theory because black holes are a good playground to test um, our ideas about quantum gravity. And there are many mysteries about black holes we don't understand and that we need a quantum theory of gravity to understand. My research is basically on nanomaterials, so I'm doing simulations of nanomaterials or the theoretical studies of nanomaterials. And what is very fashionable at the moment are 2D materials, things that live in a plane and have special physical properties. And this is what I explore using computer simulations. Recently I've been working with experimentalists and we were able to demonstrate a uh, new platform where we take a superconducting meter material and uh, we connect that to a, uh, an artificial atom. And uh, we were able to show that the, the effective fine structure constant is about 10 times larger than the bare one. And what that means is when you look at the emission spectrum, the, the lines, some of them are 10 million times broader than for a hydrogen atom. One of the ways to describe the Institute is as an incubator. We take in uh, some of the most talented students from South Africa and from the rest of Africa, and we provide for them an environment in which ideas are valued, in which research is valuable. The students have the opportunity to interact with postdoctoral fellows from the international community, with long-term visitors. They have the chance to pursue high-level graduate courses and to interact and form friendships with like-minded peers. I find the environment very conducive to doing research. The members are always open-minded. You can go to them at any time. You can ask them their questions. And even in terms of the other postdocs, previous ones and current ones, you can always collaborate with them. They are very, very open-minded people. Every uh, Friday in the afternoon, we have a journal club in which uh, one of us discusses uh, a recent paper that has drawn some, some interest. So today it's my turn. I will discuss a very wonderful paper actually uh, about black holes. We are very fortunate to have received a Simons Foundation grant which has allowed us to try and overcome the geographic distance between South Africa and the main centers of research, particularly in the USA and in Europe. Visits by a professor Sanjay Ramgulam from Queen's College University of London who spent here two or two three months and also one month long stays by distinguished uh, researchers with the idea that if they spend here a sufficiently long time there will be a fruitful collaboration and research initiatives taken together with our members of staff. We've got an active visitors program that brings in guests from abroad. We travel frequently, so uh, the geographic isolation really hasn't figured in uh, as an obstruction to, to my work. 
This uh, Simons Foundation grant has allowed us also to establish uh, joint postdoctoral fellowships. We have a joint postdoctoral fellow with Brown University, as well as a joint postdoctoral fellow with the Tata Institute for Fundamental Research in India. Part of what our students do uh, is also outreach to the communities where they come from. So every year we send them to Limpopo where they meet with school children and then they present like solar cell cars and explain how solar energy works and other stuff. And this is always very well received. The Institute also participates in public outreach like the popular social event Science and Cocktails. The idea of Science and Cocktails is to take science and put it in a context that isn't as intimidating or unfamiliar to people as if I was to give a talk at a university. The Mandelstam Institute for Theoretical Physics plays a role in the broader South African uh, activities in theoretical physics. It hosts the Gauteng node of the National Institute for Theoretical Physics, which is currently being configured in, into a broader research entity by fitting into the government's uh, plans for development of uh, basic sciences. In addition, we hope to continue to grow our research activities in terms of both quantity and quality and perhaps think of broader entities which will bring other areas such as uh, astrophysics and astronomy.